I'm safe. I'm vengeance. So we're going to start off our look at 2022 with pretty much what you'd expect. Superheroes soaring and sequels galore. Let's start with a reboot, yeah? Another Batman. Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. Opening in March, The Batman offers an injection of youth, angst, and adding Zoe Kravitz to the mix certainly doesn't hurt. You got a lot of cats. Never think about strays. Robert Pattinson is your new vigilante who likes fast cars and eyeshadow. I'm not too thrilled about the Riddler, but I cannot wait to see how the bat and cat get along. Now let's keep the romance going with a trip to the Lost City. <sighs> In March, Sandra Bullock returns to the realm of rom-com with this jungle adventure, co-starring Channing Tatum. Loretta Sage is missing. I'm gonna rescue her. I just want her to think of me as more than a cover model. If you remember the proposal as fondly as I do, you know no one does reluctant romance as good as Sandy. Oh, and it also features this guy. Why are you so handsome? My dad was a weatherman. Another big trend for 2022 is, well, parallel Earths. But if you want to see this idea taken to the extremes, get ready for everything, everywhere, all at once. That's right. Welcome to the Michelle Yeoverse. Across the multiverse, I've seen thousands of Evelyns. In Canada, the indigenous sci-fi genre is growing with the success of movies like Blood Quantum and Night Raiders. This summer, the action moves up north for Slashback. Shot in Nunavut, the film finds a group of Inuit teens fighting back against aliens. I cannot wait for that one. Now, there's an avalanche of animated movies coming this year. Are you hungry for something good? But the one I can't wait to sample? Something juicy. That's right. The Bob's Burgers movie. Fresh hot burgers, sexy burgers. Served up to audiences at the end of May, the animated feature finds the Belchers battling a growing sinkhole. <gasps> Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.